haven't made a video, but I've been posting on my blog and on my Instagram. And I wanted to make a video about this because it's kind of going to be super long and I wanted to explain myself and it's just going over how I basically lost 10 pounds in two weeks, which doesn't sound healthy, but I wanted to do it in the healthiest way I possibly could. Basically, I was giving an, given an ultimatum, which was I had to lose weight in a certain amount of time so that I could land a contract with a modeling agency, and I ended up doing it, and now I'm with Elite Model Management here in New York City, so I just wanted to share my advice if you have to lose weight in a really short amount of time, um, which is probably kind of rare, but if you have a wedding or a beach vacation and you want to feel great about yourself, this would be the healthiest way to lose the most amount of weight you can in the shortest time, I guess. Especially if you don't live a really healthy lifestyle, like transitioning to this is probably going to be pretty intense and pretty hard, but for me, I already lived a pretty healthy lifestyle, so it was just like really just transitioning to being completely clean and really pushing myself so that I could achieve my goals. So number one, I joined a gym that I loved, 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 and enjoyed going to, and was close, because if you're not motivated to go to the gym, if it's 30 minute walk away or if they don't have classes that you enjoy. My gym has a sauna and a steam room so I would motivate myself by just being like I really want to go in the steam room so I have to go work out first. So I went every day or twice a day just depending on my schedule but I had a lot of like extra free time to spend to go to the gym because I was out here I couldn't work yet because I was waiting to sign an agency until I lost this weight. So I basically had like a lot of free time to devote. So I would usually just do an hour of cardio on the treadmill at a pace about 4.5. And that's not running, it's like fast walking. And it's pretty easy to manage, especially if you're like watching the TV or something. But the good thing about that is like it keeps your heart rate up the whole time. Um, but you can still burn a lot of calories and it's not like over exerting yourself so you're able to work out every single day and not tire yourself out and then you burn like 450 calories doing that and it's just like walking for an hour and also I went to a lot of the classes that my gym has my favorite one ended up being a rebounding class which is basically just a fancy word for a trampoline it's like a little everyone has their individual trampolines and it's a great cardio workout and some there's some toning in there too and you basically just for 45 minutes just like jump around on a trampoline and you feel like you're getting a good workout and you definitely get a sweat in too so that's what I've been doing for working out for the two weeks and then as far as eating is concerned I was really really careful not to put anything in my body that it was not going to be happy with so I mean the main thing is one of my main differences that I did is I'm like a sugar addict. So I cut down on sugar like immensely. Like I would eat it way too often and even like I was having too many fruits and like too many even natural sugars to the point where I was like I need to really really cut down. So no desserts, no like low calorie ice cream after dinner. like tried not to have sweets even for breakfast like usually I'd have like sweet oatmeal or granola or yogurt or something like that and I switched to eggs egg whites um, that was my biggest thing and then without the sugar uh, the cravings kind of fell so I had a lot less cravings because I didn't have the sugars addicting and even if I had like some sweets of like fruit it would make me because I'm such a sugar addict it would make me want like every sugar chocolate thing imaginable and I also cut down on salt I really didn't add that much into my diet and based so basically like what a regular day would consist of for me wake up have like egg whites with vegetables lunch was like tuna salad with just lettuce and greens and stuff and then dinner I would usually have like a really big bowl of frozen vegetables with spinach and carrots, peas, whatever, and then I would usually put that with like some hummus and like red sauce and kind of just make like a warm 
people would film me up more than like a cold salad would and it like huge like I would make a massive portion so I was getting enough to eat where like I wasn't craving the bad stuff after I ate like the healthy foods. Mainly my diet consisted of a little bit of lean proteins but mostly just a shit ton of vegetables <laughs> which is really exciting I know but I like vegetables and you find the ones just make sure you find the ones that like you actually enjoy eating and I also was really really careful not to eat out like I think I ate out like once the entire time and now I like mm, it's so hard for me to not eat out that was probably the hardest thing because you get so bored of like what you have and there's so many awesome interesting places to eat in New York City but I just stuck it out for two weeks and now I eat out too often but and you can still eat out and like be healthy but like if you're trying to be like super super clean and lose weight you never know what they're cooking it with and it's bigger portions and overall like I just don't think that it's possible to really lose weight if you're mainly eating out you have to kind of cook it for yourself even like grab and go stuff like I really just would stay away I think it's really beneficial to cook by yourself and you save a lot of money and you can just pack it up if you have to go somewhere always keep like an apple on hand or a snack so that you don't cave and buy something that you shouldn't. And a lot of water. I drink a lot of water. So that was my game plan for losing the weight and I did lose it. Um, and I'm really happy because I stuck to my goals even though it was really hard and I said I wanted something so I went after it. And But you have to keep in mind that like this is very like unique case because most of the time people won't be like, hey, like your career depends on you losing this weight. I'm out here in New York City and now I'm eating a little bit more normally. I'm still keeping really clean and actually mostly vegan lifestyle except for like some fish here and there and like maybe chicken once every two weeks but really nothing crazy. Yeah, just mostly vegetables and fruits and the occasional cookie or like really good vegan meal from some cool restaurant. So if you want to see like what I've been eating when I go out here, I have my Instagram, which is SheHeartsFood2, uh, and I'll link it down below, and it's just pictures of like good food that I like, make me hungry every time I look at it, and then I have my blog too, which I'll be posting on more regularly, I've been kind of MIA recently, because I mean I have a lot to write about, but I just have been super too busy to post anything. So, thank you for listening to this. It's super loud outside. Um, but if you can see the beautiful view from my patio. Yes. Crazy. Okay. Bye.